Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing good. So in this video, what I'm going to share you is uh, the entire Jaspi's interview process for product solution engineer role. So this role was for both full-time offer and for internship. So I will share you the rounds and what will be asked in the rounds and what was the things which are uh, required to be prepared to crack this interview. So let me start with how many rounds were there in this particular process, means interview process. So, actually, there were four rounds. So, the first one was online assessment. The second one was learnathon. Third one was technical interview. Fourth one was team managerial round. And the last one is that internship and PPO offer later. So, this will be not considered for the round calculations. So, in actual, there were four rounds. Fine. So, we will go through each and each one of them and we will understand what will be asked and how it will be conducted and what is the outcome of that particular round. So let us start with the first round that is online assessment. So the first round was online assessment. So what to actually, what to prepare to crack this interview? Let me start with that one. So these are some skills which are needed to crack the first round. That is either SQL or Excel or Python. Need not to be prepared for all the three. You can prepare any one of this. Either you can prepare SQL or Excel or Python. So you can solve the first round or clear the first round using either one of this. So I would recommend you to go with SQL or Python, not with the Excel because SQL and Python can also be used in the upcoming rounds. But Excel, we can't use the Excel in upcoming rounds. And also SQL and Python will be used more in the company while you are doing internship or work. So I would recommend you to go with SQL. So the process that is how they conduct this particular test will be, they will be given with a data set to you. And you can just prepare for any one of these technologies below that is SQL, Excel or Python. Then you can solve the questions which are they sent in the test link when you are registered. So you can just analyze the data, any of this technology and just solve these questions. Personally, when I attended the test, there were 14 MCQs that is multiple choice questions, which were very easy. If you have learned any one of this technology uh, and uh, one subjective question, which was to write an email to a merchant. So that was also very easy. So if you learn any one of this technology, then it will be very easy to crack the first round. So let us move on to the second round. So second round was Learnathon. So what is Learnathon? Learnathon is the second round in this particular JustPace interview process. So in Learnathon, what they actually want you to do is they will check you, check your ability. So how much you can learn in a very short period of time. So Learnathon was conducted offline in their office itself. So I just, uh, 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 participated in Learnathon in the main branch that is present in Core Mangla, Triple Four Stallion building. So you also may be required to go to the main office to attend the Learnathon. So let us now go into the technologies which are required or skills which are required to crack this particular round. So these are some technologies which I think uh, these are enough to crack the first round. In addition to this, you must also need to be good at communication skills. You need to interact with the tech buddies who are all present there. Tech buddies means those who are already working at JustPay as a product solution engineer. So those uh, people will help you to get the answers for the questions, so, but they don't tell you the answers. So let us go through the skills. So as usual, I said SQL. SQL to what? To write the queries, to ex uh, like analyze the data set which they will given. In Python to write a program, like uh, they will ask like uh, write a code to uh, print the Fibonacci series or like uh, print any pattern like that. So you can even learn any other programming languages like C++ or Java, but I would recommend you to go with Python because Python is easier for beginners. Then REST API that is representational state transfer APIs. So these are the kind of APIs uh, which actually used in building APIs. So you can just go through this uh, theoretical wise as well as technical wise, like building how to build a REST API, then how to use the REST API like that. Then you should understand what is payment flow and how payment flow works from sender's bank to receiver's bank, how the payment actually works. Then how just pay plays a role in particular payment flow. You need to understand this thing. So now we will look into how they will conduct the Learnathon and what will be asked in the Learnathon. So if you are done with these four technologies, then you are ready to crack the Learnathon. In Learnathon, they will give you a data set 
एंड दे विल आस्क यू अ प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट एंड दे विल गिव यू आर सेट ऑफ क्वेश्चन वॉट यू नीड टू डू हियर इज यू नीड टू एनालाइज द डेटा सेट टू आंसर सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चन विच विल बी आस्ड बाई जस पे इन द लर्न अथॉन एंड प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इज टू मेक यू मेक यू शोर दैट यू आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट थरोली एंड सम क्वेश्चन विल ऑल्सो बी बेस्ड ऑन द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट so you need to analyze the data set you need to understand the problem statement then you need to attend these questions to crack this interview so to to crack this particular uh, round what you can do is you can ask your uh, tech buddies to clear your doubts regarding the problem statement and you can uh, regarding analyzing the data set they will help you out to reach the solution but they don't share the solution with you right so when you uh, do these things like analyze the data set and understand the problem statement then you can easily solve these questions so your particular round will be get cleared now we will move into the third round so third round was technical interview this one was online mode so for me it was online mode maybe in future it may conduct in offline mode for some other people so let us now go into the technologies which are i think may require to clear this particular interview round i hope these are the technologies which are enough to clear this particular round let's say the sql already mentioned to write the queries they may ask you to write the queries so you you should uh, learn sql then python they may ask you to write the code for me they ask you to write a code to reverse a string and one more was to print the fibonacci series then you must also read about the rest apis which i have already mentioned in the previous round itself then you should know about payment flow how payment works then you should know about dbms in particularly you should learn more about transactions how transactions works then what are the states in it and everything which is related to the dbms you need to learn which are related to the transactions and payments then you should know dsa you can do dsa in any programming languages prescribed by any other one uh, i would recommend you to do it in core like java or c++ and you should you should not need to prepare entire dsa you can just prepare for basic dsas like arrays strings linked list stacks queues uh, if you want to learn more then you can go for strings i already mentioned and trees and graphs so these are more than enough just do easy and medium questions on this you can just clear this round then projects whatever you mentioned in your resume you should carefully look into those projects and you should thorough with those projects what you have done and how how did you written the code to do the project you should clearly understand how the project works they may ask you to write a code for a particular thing in a project uh, you have already implemented for me they ask you to write an endpoint to to add a node to a database so you should know you should thorough with that then puzzles like they may ask you some aptitude logical reasoning questions like uh, simple puzzles like that and the behavioral means they can ask you questions like uh, where you will see you after 5 years like this and uh, they will ask you about uh, what do you know about just pay and uh, what are the technologies used by just pay and when did uh, just pay founded like that they may ask you simple simple questions which are reg regarding the company so now we will go into the fourth round that is team managerial round you can also say this as an hr round but not it is a not hr round it we call this um, team managerial round so what actually asked in team managerial round So, so i would like to share you not skills are required to crack this particular round they uh, they ask it some uh, basic questions like so this round is just like an hr round so how hr will uh, talk to our people just the same way team manager who will be uh, working with us as a head in uh, future uh, asking some questions from us to clear that whether we are capable of doing job with them and also the interviewer will ask some behavioral questions like already mentioned in the last round in some analytical questions how do you think then some academic subjects uh, like uh, he asked me about uh, which subjects do you have in this current semester then uh, which uh, i i mentioned five subjects then he asked me which are your favorite subjects when i mentioned some two subjects i mentioned like full stack uh, development and uh, software testing for my favorite subjects so he asked me uh to explain what is full stack development assuming that interviewer is an 8th standard or 9th standard student so he asked me like that so i started explaining that that shows him our eagerness to learn and our broad way of knowledge so this will impress your interviewer so that your selection criteria will increases and also about your schooling where you have studied and where you actually live in your native place and uh, when you are available to get into the internship or a full time offer like this so these are some questions you can expect in the team managerial round if you cleared all the four rounds then a magic happens
So this is the magic. Either they will offer you a full time offer if you are already graduated. If you are not graduated, means if you are still in the third year or in the fourth year, then you will be offered with an internship and a PPO offer. So just like I got yesterday. So this is the entire interview process uh, for just space PSC role. Uh, this may uh, vary little bit in future. Just make sure that these are the major rounds which are actually conducting from past five six years for this current role. I hope this video helps you out to prepare for the interview next year. So that's it. Thank you all.